So what we're going to do is we're going to make a whole new panel. First thing I need to do, obviously, is whoop, get rid of that one. Now we plasmid about an eighth of an inch shy. Great thing about plasma is you can get this thing out really fast, get it out of your way, come back with a pair of tin snips, and you can really get a nice edge. And it's a lot quieter than if you go in and grind it out and you make a lot of mess, you make a lot of dust. So took some calipers, came in about an inch, did like that, made a line. Now the big thing on these, once you get started, is get to your line. And if you notice what I'm doing is actually pulling up on the metal. So a little bit at a time, right on the edge, right on the line, and uh, you can do a nice little cut. Go ahead and get this out of the way. We'll be able to install a changer underneath the package and make a new piece. Okay, we've got our hole pretty much cut out. That's about ready to go. Just need some tidying. I took chipboard, made a little pattern that fits inside of there. So now I'm gonna transfer it to some 18 gauge steel. Got this laid out, sharpie it around. Now I've left myself a two inch flange over on this side and I made a note to be sure and remember, take your calipers, do a thing across, then you've got a good square piece. I'll cut that out and be ready to go. Now before I fill the hole with this panel, I wanted to kind of lay out uh, our stereo. It's a good idea while we've got the package tray open. Custom Auto Sound sent us this secret audio. And this stuff is cool because you can put it in the back, it's hidden. Now in these hot rods and muscle cars, in the front in the dash area, a lot of times you're pushing back a big engine that came with a small dash. A lot of them didn't come with a heater. And uh, by the time you stick an AC up there, you really lose all your room to put a lot of stereo equipment. So these are cool because you can put them in the back. They've got 200 uh, watts of power. Now this guy is gonna tell you not only your iPod, your stereo, your satellite, it'll give all your artists. You can hide this like in a little glove box. Doesn't take much like run the wires down the, down the tunnel. The secret audio also comes with this wireless remote. So you can mount it like in the console, maybe under the dash, somewhere nice and hidden. And it also comes with a USB drive. It comes with a cable for your iPhone, iPod, so you can run that up to the front as well. This is from Custom Auto Sound. This is a really cool way to uh, save yourself some space in the dash. And uh, I think now I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing cut out. We'll be ready to put our package tray in. All right, welcome back. We're putting a couple of beads here in our panel. And uh, Birdman here getting me rolled down. This is the second pass. You kind of crank down your depth. Hold on a sec. Crank down your depth each time. That way you're kind of getting a little deeper. And the first pass is really easy to run. So want to make sure that you go with that light pass. You can also change your line. If you mess up, you can come back if it's light. But if you crank it all the way down, one, you're going to work out that dude's biceps. <laughs> It's rough, so. Yeah, maybe work up a sweat here. We get in these corners. We're gonna go a little bit slower too, just so this backside of the sheet doesn't catch on the tool. Nice. There you go. Okay, let's speed start. it up in the center sections. Now you make this, uh, when you set your, your bead roller up, you can set that step by, can you point out that little yeah. guy right there? We got a little adjustment back here to get this depth of bead, thickness of panel, and how aggressive you wanna get. These make it look a lot more professional. It gives it some strength. And you know, you spend a lot of time and work on these things. You may as well at least make it look cool. That's right. So we got to break one more panel. This will go back in, plug weld it all the way around the edges. Yeah, and I got to finish go. my trans panel. So that thing's all cut out and I'm starting to get the thing curl around that tunnel a little bit. So let me get back to work on that one. Okay, it's about got that spot taken care of. All right. Now what we're doing, we're every four inches, we're, uh, we're doing what's called a 5 16th plug weld. That's the standard auto body, you know, kind of way that you do the auto body experience. And the reason is when you have a panel like this, it's really fast, it's really easy, and it just gets the panel in and it's really strong. And uh, there's a couple of reasons. One, uh, you're getting a good penetration down into between the two panels. The other is it actually allows a little bit of flexibility. Yeah. So as this thing's running down the road, you know, it's not all locked up. It's got some room to breathe and a little bit of room to move. And this is a panel that, you know, you don't need to be a perfect butt weld that you're gonna, you know, paint and primer and sand. You know, this whole speakers. Yeah, it's not holding the car together, but it's giving it a lot of stiffness in this plane. Sure. Now another thing you wanna do is use some weld through primer on the inside of both of these panels. It'll keep it from rusting in between. Now when you 
spot weld in here, crank the heat up. But you can't just do the heat because you'll blow a hole through. So crank up the wire feed too. So you're throwing a lot of heat and a lot of wire at it. You get good penetration, good plug weld. Yeah, and anywhere in this car is a good spot for a MIG for the wire feed. You know, you get down in the center of the hole, work it around, and you'll basically, what happens is when you watch it, it'll fill the hole and right at that point where it's flat. That's why he said you want to do it hot because when you get it flat, that's when you know that you're really getting that good hot penetration and it's going to really hold together well. Yeah, well this panel's looking good. Next thing up, we'll get some speakers and start cutting our holes out, yep. mount our stereo, maybe yep. get that display mounted in the front. Get the engine back in with the new uh, fuel yeah. injection. The new EFI, it's gonna make this baby run sweet. That looks like a pretty cool setup. Yeah, you know what? It was probably one of the easiest setups I've ever done too.